How to Cure and Treat Athtosis Athtosis This is a kind of condition wherein the person is not able to control the movement in his or her fingers, arms, leg, and sometimes in the neck. The term used for the uncontrollable movements in the medical field is called the thetoid movement. When the person's brain is damaged, especially the corpus striatum, this type of disorder is likely to occur. Not only that, in most cases, the athtosis does not attack the person alone, it is accompanied by another disorder which is called the cerebral palsy. The person suffering from this disorder is also likely to have choreothtosis which will give the person a damaged basal ganglia. This condition is also closely similar to the athtosis that is why there is a specific name for the combined disorder called choreothtosis. Aside from the choreothtosis, the person may also suffer from another movement disorder that is called pseudothtosis wherein the uncontrollable movement is caused by the proprioception. It is really very hard to see people who are suffering from this kind of disorder because they are often on wheelchairs and needs constant companion all the time because they are not able to sustain themselves and help themselves. These people are not capable to walk alone, stand alone, eat, bath PR do the normal things normal people do. They require special care understanding and patience due to their untoward situation which normally stays for life because there are times when the disorder is not treatable anymore. Athtosis Causes To know the causes of this disorder, it is highly recommended to ask your doctor instead. However, for you to have a good idea on some of it, please refer to the list below. If the person has experienced or is experiencing a brain tumor, if the person is suffering from the damaged basal ganglia. If the person is suffering from cerebral infarction. If the person is suffering from hepatic encephalopathy. If the person is suffering from the Huntington's disease. If the person is suffering from a Wilson's disease. If the person is suffering from cerebral palsy. If the person is suffering from the other types of diseases such as the Kernicterus, Leshnihan. Tay-Sachs, Phenylctinuria, Jacob disease, and tardive dyskinesia. When the person is taking phenothiazine and antipsychotic medications. When the person is suffering from purine, element, and neurotransmitter metabolism, glycolysis, and Segawa syndrome. Congenital. Athtosis symptoms. Here are the most common signs and symptoms of the disease. Once you are able to detect one or more of the of symptoms, it is highly suggested to consult a doctor or a professional immediately. Slow movement of the body parts. Involuntary movement of the hands. Involuntary movement of the feet. Involuntary movement of the face. Involuntary movement of the tongue. Involuntary movement of the neck. Involuntary movement of the muscles of the body. Facial spasms, incapable of standing, incapable of talking straight. Athtosis treatment. There are special instruments and treatments available to lessen the burden of the patient. To know some of them, please refer to the information below. The gross motor function, this is an instrument that is used to measure the gross motor of patients who are suffering from cerebral palsy. Common patients would be children below 12 years. The test lasts for at least an hour. The test will be getting the information of their PEDI and the GMFMR. Pediatric Evaluation of Disability Another kind of instrument that can evaluate the current condition of the child who is suffering from the disorder. Important factors that will be considered in this type of testing would be the ability of the person to do self-care, social function and mobility. Selective Control Evaluation this test will be making an assessment on how the child is able to do joint controls, and intentional movements. There are a lot of different treatments for the said condition. However, it is really important to detect it as early as you can to prevent the condition to worsen. Also, family members of the patient should be aware that the majority of the time, it is unfortunate for the person to recover from the disorder and may have to carry the burden until the last day of his or her life. If that is so, the only treatment that can help the person will be the love, care, 
and patience that he or she will be getting from the people close to his or her heart.